Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn that how to make travel navigation in react native like this. For example, we had created this travel navigation for our app. So whenever user click on this nav bar or hamburger icon, the drawer gets open. Also if users just you know uh, do with a gesture like you know that will also gonna open the drawer navigation. So we are going to learn that how to build this kind of stuff, how to build travel navigation in react native. All right. So it's so straightforward what first of all what you have to do you have to first install the react native navigation and after that uh, you have to set up the travel navigation in this video we are just going to make this travel navigation in the next video we're gonna see that how to make custom travel navigation along with the stack navigation so this video is like you know first phase of the video so what you have to do first of all you have to create a uh, one fresh react native project so this is the project uh, this is the app which we are going to build and learn that how to make a travel navigation all right so first of all let me close the app okay so i'm gonna close the app and gonna create a new react native project so i'm gonna close the uh, window and after that i'm gonna create a fresh react native project okay for that i'm gonna open my local dxt and i'm gonna open my folder and teach and i'm gonna create a fresh react native project for that i'm gonna open my terminal so open in terminal and after that you have to search react native like this once you search react native after that you have to click on the first website learn once right anywhere all right now after that you have to click on get started can i use react native without framework after that click on get started without a framework and copy this command all right now npx react native cli you have to copy this command make sure after that you have to open your terminal and paste this uh, you know uh, command after that you're gonna update the name learn uh, navigation learn navigation all right so you are creating a fresh react native project so make sure you have already uh, set up the react native cli all the stuff so if you're doing it first time so it's gonna took like almost maybe five minutes so like you know making a drawn navigation is like a bit straightforward you don't have to think a lot so as you can see that our drawn navigation has been you know the the react native project has been created started creating so it's gonna took some seconds so i'm gonna wait for some seconds and let's see as you can see guys we had created a fresh react native project so when we run this command we had downloaded the template copy the template and it had installed all the dependency and also in slice a git repository after that what you guys have to do you have to type cd and press the tab and it, it will suggest a folder so i'm gonna go inside my this project and hit enter so we are inside this project okay now after that to open this in vs code you have to write code space dot and hit enter so it will open this project in a vs code all right after that i'm gonna open my terminal once i open my terminal i'm gonna write npm start command to run this project so i'm gonna run the npm start and if we are doing it first time so it's gonna took maybe longer time than expected time so it's gonna took almost five minutes if we are just in slicing a press react native project because it's gonna build and do all the stuff so let's wait for to build this app so when i run this command uh you know npm start and, and i press a so it's telling me error that it could not move temporary workspace so what you have to do you have to just copy this error all right after that you have to open the browser like this and paste this command once you paste this command you will get this error uh okay could not move temporary workspace react native okay and after that you have to open this error uh, the first stack overflow error and here what you have to do here you can see that they have mentioned that you have to update griddle wrapper dot properties all right so we have to go inside this griddle dot wrapper dot properties file so i'm gonna go inside control p griddle wrapper properties as you can see that we are able to see the android inside the android slash griddle we are having a uh, griddle wrapper dot properties and here you can see that we have mentioned 8.5 8.6 and i'm gonna make this 8.5 as they have mentioned that you have to make 8.5 now if i again run this app let's see what is happening so does the app get installed so yeah the app is going to install and like this error like i might every time get whenever i create a fresh react native project so i'm pretty sure what i have to do 
now let's wait for some second to install the app now as you can see that guys the react Native project has been successfully created and we can see our app here as well so how this code is coming so we have to go inside the app.tsx and this is the all code which we are getting all right so first of all we are not going to use typescript we are going to use javascript so for that what i have to do i have to make this jsx tsx to jsx to t stand for typescript and j stand for javascript so i'm gonna just replace the t with the j and it becomes javascript xml all right now this is the boilerplate code and which i think which is doesn't require for me so i'm gonna remove this whole code all right and gonna create a fresh react native component so i'm gonna write r and f e s okay export default react native you know export default component and how does you know this command help me to write this code r and f e s so i'm using one extension that is called es7 snippet es7 react react native snippet so you guys can use that and create a react native component quickly all right now after that what we guys have to do we have to you know make the driver navigation for that you have to search react native navigation once you search react native navigation you have to open this website react navigation all right now here we can see that uh, like you know you can make a stack navigation bottom tab navigation driver navigation deep linking and model all this stuff so I'm gonna click on read docs and we will be focusing more on the driver navigation for today all right now first of all to install the driver navigation we have to do some basic configuration so we have to install the react navigation native so I'm gonna copy this line of code okay let me copy it again copied and after that I'm gonna stop my app server now as you can see that uh, you know we are just having an app and we are seeing on the app as well so if I gonna paste it many times so it's gonna be so it many times all right now i'm gonna stop my uh, app server and gonna paste this command npm install react navigation native okay so it's gonna install the react navigation native after that let's go on the browser and the next thing is that we have to install npm re install react native screen and react native safe area context so let's copy this again okay and after that you have to open the terminal and paste this again so you we have installed the react navigation native and react native safe area react native screen and react native safe area context after that you have to do one more thing that is called you have to return navigation container okay like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go inside this code i'm gonna remove this whole code this view code and here i have to just you know return navigation container from the react navigation native like this okay now once you're done with that we have to do what we have to do the uh, drawer navigator right so you once you get here you have to click on navigators click on drawer okay now as you can see this is the drawer navigator which we are going to build as well all right now to use the drawer navigation we have to install some dependency so which we have already done so now i'm gonna install this react navigation drawer so let's copy this command and here i'm gonna paste this command as well react navigation drawer all right so it's gonna create a uh, you know it's gonna install the react navigation drawer all right now after that uh, we have to install this react native gestural handle and react native reanimated as well react native gestural handle to you know make this gesture like this so whenever user is called like this the drawer navigation gets suddenly open and react native reanimated it's uses uh, like react native react navigation drawer under the hood uses for the animation purpose so you have to also install that as well so for that here you can see that one command npm react install react native gestural handle and react native reanimated so you have to copy this command once you copy this you have to open the terminal and paste this again okay now once you're done with this what you have to do for the reanimated you have to do some extra setup so for that you have to click on installation guide and open it in the new tab by clicking right open link in new tab all right now after that you can see that here's a like list of command npm install react native reanimated all the things now inside your babel.config.js file you have to copy this line of code plugins react native reanimated plugin let's copy this line of code and you have to go inside this your file babel.config.js file 
So let's go inside this babel.config.js and here you can see that already we have a press it and we're gonna have to just press this line of code that is called plugins and you're gonna add this plugin code as well react native re animated plugin all right now after that let's go back on the browser and start your server by resetting the cache okay so i'm gonna copy this line of code again and just run this you know run my project npm start reset the cache so if there is any cache so it will reset the cache all right now we had not we had just you know installed the all the dependency which we had required but we had not done the setup as well right now so what we gonna do okay now after that we have to copy this line of code import react native gesture handler and let's go to the app.jsx and here on the first line we have to press this line as well okay now after that you have you have to go back on the browser and you have to copy this line of code drawer.navigator like this so i'm gonna copy this line of code and here inside the navigation container i have to just paste this code okay now we have to also copy this line of code const drawer is equal to create drawer navigator like this all right and we have to import create drawer navigator from the react navigation drawer okay so as you can see that we had import the create navigation drawer from the react native navigation drawer and after that inside the navigation container we are having a drawer navigator and the drawer screen but it's you know the uh, the drawer screen needs to pass a component all right so we have to create a component and pass that component as well so for that let's click on app.jsx click on folder click on and write source create one source directory and inside that create another directory that is called a screen okay inside the screens directory let me make it screens inside the screens directory i'm gonna make feed screen uh, dot jsx and i'm gonna just write r and f e s so what is gonna do it's just quickly create a uh, one component for me all right and the next screen which i'm gonna create that is called article screen so let's create a phrase you know one article screen as well so article screen dot jsx dot jsx all right again r and f e s react native default functional export component all right now let's go back to the app.jsx and i have to import this again so i have to just you know uh, select this code and just press ctrl plus space and hit enter so what is gonna do it will you know import that uh, you know component same for the article as well and article screen now what is gonna do so we have to do the minimalistic setup of react navigation drawer so as you can see that our app is bundling and you know maybe i might get some error maybe i will not get error so let's see so it's gonna took some second but uh, let me explain you guys what so far i had done first of all i had set up the react native navigation after that i had set up the react native gestural handle and the react native reanimated after that i had copied this code line of code import react native gestural handle after that i make a you know const drawer is equal to create drawer navigator like this and inside this drawer navigator uh, we are having a we are just passing the screen drawer dot screen and uh, like this so let's wait for some second and let's see what is gonna happen while the app is bundling as you guys can see that our drawer navigation has been successfully set up perfectly manner now you can see that we had we did not get any error because we had followed the best practices we had followed the guide line by line so that's why we did not get any error now if i click on this uh, you know hamburger icon so we get the drawer navigation as well all right now after that we're gonna see that uh, you know after this lecture we're gonna see that how to make you know uh, uh, what you call how to make uh, uh, a custom drawer navigator so this is how we we can make a drawer navigator in react native all right now uh, let me open the app again and yeah now let's see let's uh, let me explain you guys once more so for what we had done so it's become easier for you to understand as well all right so what i'm gonna do guys uh, okay so let me explain you before that uh, so this is how we had learned that how to make a drawer navigation in react native now i'm going to summarize this all this stuff again so first of all i created a fresh react native project uh, from here 
by copying this command command npx react native cli after that i get a, a error so i get this user get a wrapper dot properties and make 8.5 at the place of 8.6 all right now after that we had went to the react navigation and here we click on getting started and after that we click on ready docs and after that we had installed this npm install react navigation native after that we had installed this react native screen and safe area context all right and after that we had just wrap we are just returning a navigation container okay now after that we we went to the navigator inside that we went to the drawer navigator and here we had installed this command npm install react navigation drawer after that it also required two packages that first package is called react native gestural handler and react native reanimated so we had installed the react native gestural handler and react native reanimated after that we had uh, you know we had import the react native gestural handler to the app.jsx to make it you know scalable uh, on the uh, with the uh, gesture as well all right now after that uh, what we had done we had you know created a my drawer like we had created a drawer navigator like this a drawer dot navigator inside that we are just passing the screen and so far it's working perfectly but make uh, one more thing while installing the react native reanimated what you have to guys do we have to go inside the babel.config.js file and make sure to add this plugin line of code after this preset and remove this thought as well so yeah so far we had learned that how to make a drawer navigator a drawer navigation in react native in the next video we're gonna see that how to make custom drawer navigation along with the stack navigation if you guys getting any error or issue please let me know and we'll catch up again in the next video thank you bye